Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to show you how you can set up your Apache Tomcat server on Ubuntu hosted on AWS by using the image available in the AWS marketplace. So come to this page by clicking the link in the description box for the image in the AWS marketplace and then simply click on continue to subscribe. And from here, if you have not previously subscribed to this particular image, then you would have to click on accept terms and then you would have to wait for a little while for the subscription to validate. After the subscription has validated, simply click on continue to configuration and from here choose the AMI software version and the region that is closest to you and then click on continue to launch. And then from here, you can choose to launch your virtual machine using the website or from the EC2 management console. What I like to do is that I shift from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now that should open up the EC2 management console where you can customize your virtual machine. So give it some name i'm going to call it tomcat scroll down and make sure that the image selected is the one you got from the link in the description box which was tomcat ubuntu 2021 choose the instance type and choose the key pair you can either create a new key pair or choose an already existing one so i'm going to go with an already existing one scroll down make sure the settings are as per your requirements and when satisfied simply click on launch instance and then you can go to the ac2 management console by clicking this view all instances button from here you can see that my newly created virtual machine is up and running so if i want to access it using the public ip simply click on it and use this public ip copy it open up a new tab paste it and add in the port number 8080 and hit enter now you see tomcat listens to port number 8080 8443 and 8009 now you may think that the apache tomcat is up and running but there is still a slight problem here if I try to access the server status manager app or the host manager app, you can see that I will be met with an error. Basically the error is that the user is not identified as a manager or an admin. So to fix this, we are going to head back to the EC2 management console, right click on our virtual machine, click on connect and from here, I am going to copy this command, open up a new command prompt, paste the command and I am going to put in the path to my private key or my key pair. After putting in the path, simply hit enter and if prompted, type in yes and hit enter again. So basically now, I am in my virtual machine using the SSH terminal. So now I can start adding in the tomcat users. So what I want to do is that I want to find a file which is tomcatusers.xml. So the command is sudo find forward slash hyphen name and then the name of the file which is tomcat hyphen users.xml. So this is the link to the file. So I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to type in the command sudo nano and the path that I just copied and I'm going to hit enter. Now as you can see that within this file, I need to do some changes. So first of all scroll down to this section. The very first thing that you want to do is that you want to uncomment this whole section. After that, what I want to do is that I'm going to change the role name to admin GUI or I should say admin hyphen GUI and the other role name to manager GUI and then I want to create a user profile with the username admin and the password I'm going to set it equal to admin and then I'm going to change the roles so the very first role that I'm going to give it is the admin GUI then another role separated by a comma which is going to be manager GUI now I want to save this file so control O hit enter and then control X then you want to run a command which is sudo systemctl restart tomcat after that you're done configuring your users for tomcat but now there is still an issue Basically, we are not able to access the manager app or the host manager app from any IP address. So I want to allow a specific IP address or remove the IP address restrictions. So for that, we need to find the file context.xml. So I'm going to type in the command sudo space find space forward slash space hyphen name and then context.xml. Hit enter. And as you can see that we were able to get four results. But we only have to edit the files with the host manager and manager in them. So copy the path for the host manager, type in the command sudo nano followed up by the path that you just copied and hit enter. And inside here what you want to do is that you want to comment out this value tag. So use the less than symbol exclamation mark to hyphen and at the end of this tag use the double hyphen followed up by a greater than symbol. Now this should allow us to access the host manager app from any IP address. And in case you want to allow access from a specific IP address, then simply write down that IP address over here. 
then i want to change the same settings for the manager app as well so copy the path which contains manager in it type in the command sudo nano paste the path that you just copied hit enter and again simply comment out this tag then you want to restart the tomcat so sudo system ctl restart tomcat so now basically you're done with setting up your apache tomcat so let's check it out let's head back to our virtual machine reload the page and this time around let's try accessing the server status manager or host manager app so as you can see that it is asking us for credentials so my credentials were admin and admin and as you can see after putting in my credentials i was able to access the server status similarly i can also access the host manager so that brings us to the end of this video so if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave them in the comment section and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing of aws and for the blog post that is a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up apache tomcat on aws azure and gcp and if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe